Michelle Baldwin here with vlog number five and can you believe it I'm two months into this fellowship it is flying by as everybody told me it would uh, so I have three deliverables for this um, fellowship uh, on the pillar side a policy strategy through Maitre Policy School network mapping with CulturePlex Lab uh, at Western and case studies that we're working with on on communication uh, and cool to see how they are all um, coming together uh, the network mapping um, we've uh, figured out out all the data that we're going to be engaging with um, and there is a lot of the data that we're collecting we're also cleaning up the data and really thinking about what do we need to be collecting for the future I did a presentation at uh, policy school um, called the art of policy where I shared my policy strategy to date and uh, you know nerve-wracking to get up in front of everybody um, and yet you know having that kind of marker meant that I had to you know really pull that together and um, and really suspend judgment about you know putting myself out there uh, in that um, in the group and then the case studies we have the architecture for that coming along and I feel like there's some really rich content uh, and I think it's going to be meaningful for people I, you know getting to who is the audience and why will anybody look at this was a really important exercise and to make sure that it's just not linear that you know that you can see the complexity within um, the organization within the work that we do and the connections between um, the themes uh, so super excited about that and then part of the the fellowship is putting myself out there um, so I went to a spark and spot or creativity workshop and you grow up and uh, you know you hear I thought because I couldn't draw that I'm not an artist and I keep hearing everybody has an inner artist so I went to this workshop and uh, revel in the mess I can't recommend enough um, last uh, week I did a uh, sketch while I was in the you know Tuscany region and I would never ever have thought to do that is it good does it really matter? Um, I think the important part is, you know, how can you capture what you're seeing in the world in a different way? Uh, and so I'm super grateful, uh, you know, for that opportunity. I also do coaching with Janet Fruit at Horizon Leadership, and we, you know, ask some good questions about about suspending judgment and you know what are my expectations and what are the pressures that I'm putting on myself? Uh, and um, I think just recognizing that when you're in a role a formal role you hold a lot of different relationships and um, you know creating the space for others to step into that uh, and to really see themselves um, in that role um, has been something that's taken some intentionality and checking in uh, and um, i'm feeling really um, you know just deeply supported by the team um, at Pillar uh, and uh, and feel so confident in their their ability that it just you know giving this space to be able to do different work and deeper work and um, and to just pause and, and rejuvenate is uh, is just yeah quite remarkable so as I go forward uh, weaving in more art did some poetry yesterday um, and uh, you know just suspending judgment um, working with really amazing partners and um, and just being in the moment <laughs>